Welcome back everyone. Today I'm gonna to show you some forearm strengthening exercises that I've learned from martial arts, particularly Wing Chun. These exercises will help you with your wrist strength, grip strength, and possibly could even prevent you from getting tendonitis on the outside of your forearm and the inside of your forearm, also known as tennis elbow or golfer's elbow. The main movements we'll be working on is wrist flexion, wrist extension, wrist supination, and wrist pronation. Kind of makes me look like I'm doing a wah. I think that's a TikTok dance. You can use a broomstick, or if you don't have a broomstick, you can use a hammer or a sporting racket. In the video, I use a baseball bat. I hope these exercises help you as much as they helped me and my patients. Wrist pronation. Grab the broomstick slightly away from the end of the stick with an underhand grip with your forearm approximately parallel to the floor. Now turn your wrist so it lifts the longer end of the stick up and away from the floor and almost vertical. This is called wrist pronation. The longer end of the stick or the heavier side of the stick should be on the same side as your thumb. Do this in a slow and controlled manner, working on the eccentric phase and the concentric phase of the movement. The eccentric phase elongates the muscle fibers whilst you're controlling the movement. And the concentric phase is where your muscle fibers contract and shorten whilst you control the movement and turn the stick over and into pronation. Do approximately 10 to 20 repetitions on both sides, three to four sets. If you hold closer to the middle of the stick, the exercise will become easier. As you hold towards the end of the stick, the exercise becomes harder. Since the weight of the stick on the longer side will increase and that increases torque on your wrist. This mainly trains the pronator muscles of the forearm which are the pronator quadratus and the pronator teres. Like most exercises without traditional iron weights, exercises become a game of leverage and how you manipulate it to give your muscles stimulus and therefore increase muscle strength and size. If you find that you're cheating by doing a half bicep curl as you bring the stick up to introduce momentum, you can sit down and rest your elbow on your thigh. This will stop the vertical pull from your bicep and the swinging motion of your body, which cheats you out of the exercise. Wrist supination. Hold a broomstick slightly away from the end of the stick with an overhand grip. Try to have your forearm approximately parallel to the floor and turn the longer end of the stick almost to vertical. This is called wrist supination. The longer end of the stick or the heavier side should be on the same side as your thumb. Do this in a slow and controlled manner. Allow the weight of the stick to slowly go down, loading the muscle fibers in its eccentric phase of the exercise, where it stretches out the muscle fibers. This will create time under tension, which is essential for muscle growth and stimulus. To make the exercise harder, just hold as close as possible to the end of the stick this will create less leverage, making you work harder to turn the stick. Do 10 to 20 repetitions on both sides, three to four sets. This mainly trains the supinator muscle in your forearm, and believe it or not, it also trains your bicep muscle, which is also in charge of supination. If you find that your shoulder is getting sore or you're slightly cheating by using your biceps and shoulders to pull the broom up, you can sit down and rest your forearm on your thigh or knee and do this exercise. If you don't have a broomstick lying around, you can always use a hammer or some sort of sporting equipment since they tend to be heavier at the end. Like me, I'm using a baseball bat. Radial deviation. Hold a broomstick slightly away from the end of the stick next to your body and allow the long end of the stick to be in front of you. Try to use your wrist to flick up the stick to almost vertical then allow the stick to go down slowly. This is also known as radial deviation. As you can see, if you're like me, your biceps and shoulders may subconsciously switch on and make you cheat by accident by bringing the stick up vertical instead of utilizing the muscles in your wrist to move the broomstick. Try to keep this as minimal as possible. You won't be able to bring the stick to a straight vertical, but that's okay. 
just make sure you're stimulating the right muscles and move at your wrist and not your elbows. Do this for 10 to 20 repetitions for 3 to 4 sets on both sides. If you don't have a broomstick at home, you can always use a hammer or a baseball bat like myself. If you want to make this exercise harder, try to hold as close to the end of the stick as possible to reduce the leverage you have on the exercise and have the heavier side in front of you, facing the same side as your thumb. This exercise mainly works on the brachioradialis muscle, also known as your beer drinking muscle. Its main action is to help the elbow flex with radial flexion at the wrist. Ulnar deviation. Hold the broomstick slightly away from the end of the stick next to your body and allow the long end of the stick to be behind you and out on the other side of your palm. Try to use your wrist to move the long end up as high as possible to almost vertical. Then allow the stick to go back down slowly. We want to utilize the eccentric phase of this movement. This will stimulate muscle growth and therefore improve muscle strength in the long term. This movement is known as ulnar deviation. If you want to make this exercise harder, just hold towards the end of the broomstick. This will create less leverage and more torque on the exercise. Do this exercise for about 10 to 20 repetitions for three to four sets on both sides. Keep your arm as straight as you can when you do this exercise. Try not to swing your elbow back to raise the stick up instead of using your forearm muscles. This will mainly work on the flexor carpi ulnaris and the extensor carpi ulnaris, both of which attaches to your wrist. So if we want to strengthen our wrist, we need to do this exercise. If you don't have a broomstick at home, you can always use a hammer or a baseball bat like myself. In 2004, the Journal of Strength, Conditioning and Research published a study on the effect of 12 weeks of wrist and forearm training on male high school baseball players. The movements that these athletes were doing in the study are the same movements that I'm showing you in this video. I truly believe by conditioning yourself to be stronger than you really need to be for daily activities or your sport can actually prevent you from a lot of injuries and improve your quality of life. Wrist Roller This is one of the best exercises to develop forearm strength and size. It is pretty much as useful as the barbell squat to your legs, if not better. If you don't have a fancy wrist roller machine, you can always make one like I did. Just drill a hole through a thick wooden pole and with some rope and a light weight plate, you got a wrist roller machine. Simply have your arms in front of you and twist the pole up so the rope wraps around the pole and slowly pulls the weight up. Do this in a controlled manner. If your shoulder hurts whilst you're doing this exercise, just have your arm down instead. However, this will reduce the height of the rope that you need to pull up and your wrist doesn't have to extend as much by rolling up the pole. Therefore, making the exercise a lot easier and you won't get as much muscle stimulus in this exercise. Choose a weight that is comfortable for you and do three rounds up and down. Give yourself a break for one or two minutes and then repeat the exercise again three to four sets. Please start off light around one to two kilos because this exercise can get quite intense. And once you're ready, you can always go heavier. This exercise will work on your grip strength, wrist flexors, and wrist extensors, which will prevent the weight from unraveling the rope that you rolled up in the opposite direction. You probably cannot tell, but my forearm was burning and I felt so much of a pump after this exercise. If you do have tennis elbow or tendonitis, I don't recommend you do this exercise as it can cause repetition stress on the tendons that can cause more pain. However, it is a great exercise to do since it can prevent tendonitis in the future if you don't have a forearm exercise, since it does strengthen up your muscle fibers and your tendons. Once again guys, thanks for watching. I really want you to join my VIP Facebook group. I want to build a community there where you can ask questions and I'll do my best to answer them as soon as possible. There'll be other health professionals in that group as well to help you out. I'll leave a link in the description box below. Now let me know in the comment section below if you want to see more videos about exercises or strengthening exercises like this video. Now if you do have wrist pain or forearm pain, please check out my wrist massage video or my wrist stretching video. 
that video will definitely help you with pain either in the wrist or the forearms. Now remember to support my channel, hit subscribe, hit like, comment below if you have any questions, and I'll see you guys in the next one.